hello sewing friends and uh, welcome to my channel this is Krista's dress shop I'm Krista and this is the channel that I do all of my bridal alterations and sewing fun and chats and all of that kind of stuff so thank you so much for joining me uh, today I thought we would tackle one of these kind of illusion uh, panels shall we say I'm not even sure what you officially call them um, I was thinking sometimes they're right down here in the middle and we used to call them a modesty panel when we did them solid to kind of cover up uh, for gals um, but now they make it completely sheer uh, to give you the illusion that there's nothing there holding the dress up and yet there is something holding the dress up uh, so the best thing to do is have that the same color as their skin uh, so that it kind of vanishes. Um, I see these a lot in all different types of dresses. I see them in ball gowns. I see them in uh, more of the mermaid style, the A-lines. Um, I see them in kind of a section that's all, um, maybe a dress that's all satin and solid. And then it has this uh, little illusion panel. Um, and then I see them a lot in these all lace dresses. The thing is that we used to have side seams, <laughs> we still do in some dresses, where you would just uh, open it up and take in your side seams. Well now it's a little different um, because now we have these panels here. We also have no way of getting into the side seams. Uh, so we're doing other creative things, which we did also like darts. Uh, we often did darts, especially in the in the bust line, um, just to kind of take it in and taper it to the bride's uh, body. Um, so I thought today we would tackle that together. It's actually pretty easy, especially that this is not the type of dress we can get up inside and, um, you know, kind of do it from the insides. We're going to do everything externally. <laughs> um, and uh, the appliques help a lot in that process. So let's do that together today. Okay, so the first step, of course, is to have it on your bride. Um, and I just pull it back and I pinned it as tight as she need me, needed me to pin it. Um, so I just kind of took the bulk, pushed it underneath there while it was on the bride, kind of pulled this over, pinned it. So now I need to, before I unpin it to work on it, I need to um, get my measurements. Um, and also when I pin that, notice how it drops right here. So that means that I'm probably going to need to take it in on both sides equally to equal this measurement. Um, that way I can get this to be recreated up here. Um, or this will actually end up a little lower and that will end up a little higher than it's pinned. So my first step is, of course, to create kind of a grid. Um, and how I do that is I usually just write it on her paperwork um, here off to the side. I, I'll do side seams or whatever and create my V and um, I'll be taking that to that length. So I'll measure from the bottom of the V up and so it will go up. So if I go up an inch and a half, so one and a half, and then measure, that will be at one inch. Both sides, about one, well, one and a half. Actually, if I do one and a half on each of the sides, I'm really at about an inch and a quarter. So I just make myself a grid, however you want to do that. Um, and then I'll go up to, say, two at yeah, two inches. It's about an inch and a half, two inches. Because it stretches too, 
Um, I'll go a little tighter than I, because I want it to be snug right through here on her. One and a half. And then it's probably gonna end up to be about right there in the end. So let's do it three inches. And at three inches is right there. So three, it is about two and a quarter. I'm just going to do it at two. It's really close to two. It could be. So at three inches up, I'm going to do two inches. Okay. So then I'll be able to, un, I'm going to undo this and pick this all off or cut it off. It depends on how it is. I also want to check my second side and make sure that I'm being even. So that's the other thing I'll do when I do side seams is I check to make sure I'm pretty close on this side as I am on that side. Um, so that was an inch and a half, inch and a half, and that's going to be an inch and a quarter. It's a little bit bigger on this side, but I can tell I've pinched a little bit more there too. Oh, and my pin had fallen out. So I'm pretty sure I'm right on for an inch and a quarter. And then if you go up from the V two inches, up from the V two inches, and that will be an inch and a half. Yep, we're right on track. And then here is three, and here is three. So I'm gonna go across at three and I think we're going to be good for it being uh, two inches because I do want to tighten that up just a little bit anyway. So we're right on track for both of them being the same measurements. Now I'm going to take this apart um, and then get ready to sew it back together. Okay, it's looking like this side was just sewn to the um, netting, which will be easy. And sometimes you can take it just on one side, uh, take it up on one side and you'll be fine. I was worried about this one just getting too low to the back. So I kind of do want to still take it up on both sides. This particular one um, is actually 
enveloped here. So I might try to see if I can't get inside of that and pull it in. And then I've also got it here. So let me play with that a little bit and see which direction I'm gonna go. But basically I want right down the center, I want my measurements to work out just exactly right. So I might go through here and actually take um, my measuring tape And I might go right down like the center and do create my V with my pen. It's three inches up. So right there it's at about two. and about an inch and a half up right here it was at about one and a quarter i'm going to go ahead and do that one at one it won't hurt it to be a little tighter um, these things stretch and she needs it tight much tighter and then we were going to do two inches up so right about there, two inches up right about there, and that's going to be an inch and a half. I'm probably going to sew that just a tad tighter as well. And then the, this was the two. So you can take your straight edge I happen to have a straight edge that I can come through here and create my V. I don't know if you could see that on camera, but so now I'm going to want to get that seam here and pull that seam in to there. Okay, on this back side where it um, is just connected to the tool, I have uh, gone ahead and sewed that down and then I've pressed it and now I am going to choose to hand stitch my appliques back in. You could also stitch over it with an invisible thread. Right now it's too much work for me to re-thread. <laughs> my machine with invisible thread and deal with all of the um, the tension and all of that. I'd rather just quickly sew that by hand. Um, but I've made an executive decision here and that is on this side over here um, it was partly tucked into uh, the lining and then when you got up to here it was separated and uh, put onto the tool. So I made an executive decision. I ended up just pulling this over top and I'm going to hand sew that down. And what I had to check was, will this applique, because this is a nude color and this is an ivory, and if you pull it over, sometimes it will show through your applique. 
and so you really don't want to do that easier method of pulling it over but in order to do switch from going inside the seam to then outside the seam it's a lot of work and um, it's just a little easier to pull it over and hand sew it down and then sew this down. And like I said, I did check to make sure that the applique that was going to cover it was not going to show the fact that I have a little extra of the nude uh, sticking out there. In fact, the only part it does show was already going to be nude anyway because of um, it being off of the uh, lining layer. It kind of sticks up here and just is on the tool layer. So, does that make sense? <laughs> I don't know if it makes sense, but hopefully that helps you uh, to make a decision how you're going to take that in. And then now, all I have left to do is uh, I'm gonna hand tack, or I'm gonna hand stitch this down here, and then I'm gonna hand tack that down and hand tack that down, and then I have a finished side seam. Now, because this is the only place you could take it together right here, um, I also had it gapping right here. And so that's a whole other video on doing uh, the side seam here and uh, the dart. Today, we're just dealing with this <laughs> little illusion panel right there. So I hope that helped you and I hope you got a lot out of this video. Um, and I'm gonna just stitch that down and I'll be done and have a wonderful week and happy sewing, everyone. Love you all. <laughs> <Mwah. laughs>